What's up everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can use Anaconda to set up a virtual environment for better package management and better version control of your packages. So if you don't know what a virtual environment is, a virtual environment is a way that we can use and install packages and kind of manage the versions that are installed. So a good way to think about this is if we have a program that's using multiple Python scripts and some of these scripts depend on different packages and sometimes they're going to depend on different versions of the packages. For example, think about pandas. It's a popular Python package. If you need a certain version of pandas, then you can install one version in a virtual environment and then you can install another version in a different environment and the scripts can run in their different environments. This is really helpful because sometimes you write code and it's based on a certain version. And if you install a virtual environment, you can keep that version in that environment with that code. But if you don't do that and you just install everything like on a system wide machine, like on your local machine, just on the base environment, then you'll update pandas for example, and then that script's going to break because it was written for a certain thing. Maybe they fixed a certain bug or something that your code actually took advantage of. So what's going on is you're going to be able to manage your packages and your versions of Python, for example, a lot better. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can actually do this in terminal. Sometimes to do this, you'll use something called a YAML file to set it up, but I'm gonna show you how you can do it in terminal um, if you're on a Windows, you're gonna be doing this in the Anaconda prompt. I actually don't know how to do this in Linux because I've never done it before. I think you can just use the common command line or terminal, whatever it's called over there, or Anaconda prompt to actually just do this yourself. So let's jump over and I'll show you kind of what's going on and how we can do this. So I'm on a Mac and as you can see right here, I have this right here, base, is the environment you are currently in. So I'm in my base environment. So what this is telling me is that I'm on just the base local machine. And if I install something on, for example, if I were to install um, pandas on this, it would be used across my entire system. So what we're gonna do is I, we're actually just going to create the package. And we're gonna use this with conda, with anaconda. So if you have it already, you'll need to download the Anaconda environment from anaconda.com. This allows you to have the Anaconda uh, command in your terminal or the Anaconda prompt on Windows, as well as this allows you to load up and use Jupyter Notebooks. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check our Conda version. So if we just say Conda-V, as you can see, I'm on Conda 4.8.3. If that says that Conda doesn't exist or something, then you once again need to install Conda. You can update your Conda as well, but I mean, there's no real need to unless you're needing something done or whatever. So how we create a virtual environment is we just say Conda create dash N and then we just need to give it an environment name. So we're gonna be doing this, we're gonna pretend like we're creating one for our soccer analytics stuff we got going on. So we're gonna call it Soccerlytics, super catchy name. And then we type in Python and the version of Python that we want. So say we wanted Python version 3.6, we'll do that. And it'll take a second and then it's gonna say collecting all of this, it's gonna pop up with some stuff. I didn't see a newer version of Conda exists. So this is how you can update it. We're not gonna do that. And then it's gonna say all of this stuff is gonna be installed. So you're gonna get pip, Python, SQLite, setup tools, wheel, just a bunch of different stuff. And I'll ask you if you wanna proceed yes or no. Just type in Y for yes. And then it will do this. And it's gonna show you where your environment location is. And now it's done. So once you get to this part, it'll say, to activate this environment, use Conda Activate Soccerlytics, and then if you wanna deactivate, use Conda Deactivate. So we're actually gonna activate this environment now, so we'll just type in Conda Activate Soccerlytics, 
And as you can see now, right here, it changed from base to Soccerlytics. So anything that we do now is going to be, any packages we install are just going to be specific to this Soccerlytics um, environment. So to start off, what we can do is we can actually check to see what packages we already have installed that came with it. So if we type pip list, it shows us that we have certify, pip, setup tools, and wheel. And then it gives us the version over here. So say we wanted actually, we want pandas in our virtual environment. We're gonna be using pandas. We'll say pip install pandas. And it's just basically the same thing. So it's gonna collect all the dependencies, all the packages that it depends on, and it's going to install them, which are six pytes, python, date util, uh, numpy and pandas and then I'll say successfully installed. So now we can just do pip list again And now we have all those packages that it just installed So it's pretty nifty and it gives us the version over here if we don't define the version that we're actually going to be using Then it's just going to install the most up-to-date version but say that we actually needed on Py or on pandas, say we actually we have 1.1.5, say we needed 1.1.3. So what we could do is we could just say pip install, install pandas, and then we can just do double equal sign 1.1.3. And if we run that, then it's just going to say, all right, it's collecting the package it found an existing version, which was the 1.1.5, and then it's going to uninstall that and then reinstall pandas 1.1.3. We can check that it did that right by just typing pip list again. And now, as we can see, we have pandas 1.1.3. So the next thing that we wanna do is we actually want to install Jupyter Notebooks so that we can launch our Jupyter Notebooks inside of this virtual environment. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say pip install Jupyter Notebook. And now it's going to install Jupyter Notebook. It's gonna collect all of the dependencies, which is actually a ton. And then it's going to install all of them. So these are all the dependencies that Jupyter Notebook is going to use so that it can launch and work correctly. So now what we have to do is we have to install the kernel and this is the kernel. This is how we're going to actually tell our Jupyter Notebook scripts and kind of our the programs that we're running, which environment to run this in. So normally it'll just be run in Python 3 or whatever Python version you have on the base environment. But since we're in our soccer lytics, what we're gonna do is we're going to install a separate kernel called soccer lytics so that we know when we launch a new Python script in soccer lytics environment, it's going to be using those packages. So the easiest way to do this is you need to make sure that you have um, IPy kernel installed. So the easiest way to check this is just to say pip install ipy kernel. And most of the time, if you've done the same thing that I've done, it's already been up, it's already been installed. So the next thing that we can do is we can create our own kernel. So we do this by typing ipython kernel install and then two dashes user and then dash dash name equals and then we'll call it soccer lytics hit run and then it'll say installed kernel spec soccer lytics and then i'll give you the uh, file path for that and then what we can do is we can just launch a jupyter notebook and we launch it here and as you can see this is the base jupyter notebook it has all the different files that i've maybe made and now we can hit new and then right here, you can see this is where our kernel comes into play. We'll hit new, soccer lytics. And so it's launching a new notebook with our virtual environment, soccer lytics. So that's kind of the basics of how to launch inside of a virtual environment. Virtual environments, like I mentioned, they're really important in being able to manage packages, manage versions, manage Python installations. And it makes it so 
there's gonna be a lot less problems with code breaking or if you didn't update a package or if you updated a package and your code depended on a different version. So learning how to use virtual environments, is kind of an, an advanced topic, but it's one that if you wanna really master your Python skills, you'll probably need to learn about and be able to implement in the future, especially if you plan on working in data science, data analytics, software engineering, data engineering. So anything with coding in Python, you're probably gonna to need to learn this. So one last thing, to deactivate this virtual environment, you just need to say conda deactivate, and then it takes us back to our base environment. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment, hit a like if this helped you out with any sort of virtual environment questions that you may have, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.